I think that the three exercises for chess that I have always done, the first year when I started training and the last year when I was training is bench press, incline press in different levels. So to start low, medium and high and then flies. To me, the flies was an exercise gave me the full pectoral muscle development because I went all the way out and almost hitting the ground. And I was a big believer in expanding the chest as much as possible and giving that stretch because remember with muscles, the important thing always is to get the stretch and to get the flex. So to me, that going all the way out with the dumbbells as far as you can to get that stretch and then to come in and then to have the dumbbells touch and then flex like you're doing the most muscular on top and then going out again. Those are the kind of exercises to me that were like, uh, you could. Because I was so enthusiastic about, you know, achieving my vision and turning my vision into reality and uh, winning one championship after the next, there was always excitement and enthusiasm there. So when I went into the gym, I put my gym bag down and I immediately attacked the weights. There was no, I mean, many times we started out by doing maybe uh, three, four, five minutes of ab work in the beginning to warm up, you know, to do maybe uh, 500 uh, Roman chair sit-ups or something like that to warm up. And then we got right into it, or we go right into the, the whole thing. But I mean, it was right away, warm up set, then the next weight up, next weight up, boom, boom, all the way to the top until you just can't do it. And supersetting, everything was always supersetting, 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 and uh, three pump sets and four sets in a row, five sets in a row. So it really changed the what exercise we did, but it was always all out. And like I said, the training partner was always responsible to challenge you at all times. So that was the thing. I challenged my training partners, if it was Frank Zane, if it was Dave Draper, if it was Sergio Liver, whoever it was the training partner was in any given moment, we challenged each other, kind of in a fun way, but I mean, there was challenge just so that you don't slack off. You know, most importantly, when you do a chest movement, you're going to focus on really keeping the chest high, okay? So you don't want to kind of curl over, you want to keep the chest out, you want to contract. Everything is about contracting, it's not about just pushing the weight. So most importantly, you want to feel that peak contraction, especially at the top. Thank you.